Welcome, I'm Darren, and I'll be your guide today as I rank the 1994 football rookie card designs, or the, the special rookie card designs. And thankfully, by 1994, we were starting to see a pretty broad range of rookie card designs to really kind of celebrate the rookies from the 94 draft. I've pulled aside 11 cards, even though 10 of them really fit, and one of them doesn't quite fit, but I kind of want to throw it in as an honorable mention in the middle of this ranking, which is mainly because I want to talk about it, but also because it kind of fits with special cards for rookies. But I, because there are 11 cards, I thought about doing a best of and a worst of, but ultimately I wanted to just get in and do the whole thing all in one shot. I think it kind of flows pretty well. But also, it's pretty well divided where I have five cards that are the worst, five cards that are the best, and interestingly, the five that are the worst all use predominantly or completely uh, college designs or college images, whereas the, the top five are all pro, pro images. So it's not because of the college uniforms entirely, but pretty heavily the reason for, for the worst of. Because in 1994, it was, there was a really good effort being made by card companies to figure out which part of the card release year they would release their cards in. And if you wanted to do an earlier set, you couldn't wait until a pro uniform was available, or pro uniform images were available for rookie cards. So you had to do the college rookie card, or the college images, which is unfortunate because I just wish that they'd wait a little bit longer, find some way to make cards that didn't come across as, well, it, to me, it feels cheap. I'm collecting pro cards, NFL cards. I want to be able to see that, and that's the way that I want to associate players. And that's not the case. And, I mean, right out here at the beginning with score, you can really see just how, how disorienting it is to an extent. Now, admittedly, this card is at the bottom of the list for a very good reason, which is probably pretty, pretty obvious. But it's not just because of the colors, which are pretty garish. Because I was surprised when I, looked at, when I really looked at the veteran cards and realized that these cards actually are kind of cool, kind of nice, not great, not really good, I would have to say, but at least they were kind of, a, kind of good. And when I go over to the rookies, the rookies are like they, they wanted to make a bad card. To me, it really feels that way. If this was in a magazine, I would be okay with it. But that angled image is just not a good choice. But on top of that, you have these college images that have the airbrushing because they didn't bother to get NCAA licensing, which makes it feel really, it just, it, it makes it feel cheap, very cheap. But I will say that there's one thing about this card that could have potentially helped it, which is that you might notice that the image is cut off at two corners and then appears on the opposite corners. It's the same image, which means that if this card was lined up with the same card with the same card, they would actually read kind of, it, it looks a lot better when you have that card to card transition, which is a cool little feature that they could have designed into the set, where if this card, had the image for the next card and then the next card, the next card. So you linked the cards in the set together. That's something I would have given extra credit for and gone, okay, that's actually kind of cool, but it's not the way they did it. And so instead they were kind of lazy with what they created. And the one thing that could have made this card somewhat okay was lost. But the company wasn't exactly on a, they weren't exactly doing a great job because the second to worst card is Pinnacle. So even the upper version of Score was also a big failure. And in this case, here we are again with airbrushed images of college shots. And so it's really frustrating, but here the card actually does have something really interesting to the design, which is that the, you have the college stadium images on either side. And that's where I like the card. In fact, with those images on the side and then with the gold foil at the bottom, it actually works together in a way that I think succeeds with this card. But when I look at those images, when I look at the stadium, I think about there's one football stadium, one college stadium I've been to, which was in Nebraska. 
And I was surprised at how small the stadium is compared to an NFL stadium. It's very intimate. You're close to the field. It feels accessible. It feels personal. And when I look at this card, I think about that. And so there's actually something endearing about the images on either side, but they confine the space inside so that you have very little room for the picture of the player and it becomes very claustrophobic. But even worse is the fact that when the image, all of these shots of the players are busy and then they run together with the rest of the cards so they don't even stand out unless you got one of those stupid airbrushed helmets which over dominates the card. And the real big problem with the airbrushing of these helmets is to me, they look like Pop Warner helmets. They don't look like the player is serious. It, I, I can't even think of how they could have fixed this because just, you know, I don't want them to airbrush in an NFL logo because airbrushing at the time did not look good. Nowadays you could pull it off, but at the time, there was really no good work around unless you got like a draft day photo, which would have been so much better, but they didn't. Instead, it's these, these images that don't look good on a card that is, the card is the only good part of the card. Everything else, you know, the image is terrible. So unfortunately, both score and pinnacle are absolute failures. Thankfully, the other three at the bottom of this list are a lot better. And the first one of those, is playoff and with playoff this is one where i'm starting to get into the range of it's not bad where in this case so the the effect the tech chrome effect that playoff used is always a bit difficult because it mutes the whole card but when the metallic effect really shines through and it gives kind of a glow it can be pretty cool and so these cards do kind of work pretty well with the glow, but then the rest of the time they're very muted and you don't get the vibrance of the images, which is something you really want. So I'm always torn with that, but the big problem with this card is this is a, uh, a rookie card I've never liked, but I've never liked the, the playoff 1994 playoff design at all. And in the case here, the issue is that the only design they have is that burst of a logo which is just kind of free floating and it feels, it feels like they didn't do anything with the card. That's kind of the problem. I do admit that it's not entirely college uniforms, which is, it helps a little bit, but still it's, it, it, I just, I don't like college uniforms. It's as simple as that. And so while this card does have something more intriguing than the ones we've seen in the past, still has a way to go. Then there's kind of a leap up to number four, which is Collector's Choice. And for Collector's Choice, this is a card that I only recently started to realize is a good card design. And the only reason I did realize that is because I was looking at the baseball version and I was able to really see it. When I looked over at football, I discovered that there are a couple of cards that are pro images. And I've always known that those cards were in there and I've always known that they looked better, but I never thought about why they looked better. Most of the cards are still college uniform shots and they just, so upper deck, when they kicked off their run in football in 1991, they, they kicked off the set with college uniforms, which to me is just a huge letdown. 1992, they did the same thing. Thankfully, in 1993, they got away from that, and I was so glad that they did that. And in 1994, again, they stayed away from it, but they brought it back for Collector's Choice. So you're starting off an NFL set with shots of college players in airbrushed images. I mean, just you know, spring, for the, spring for the rights, guys. Come on, if you're going to do this, make the image look complete at least. But there's not much else to the card to help it along when it has the college uniforms. So for the pro uniforms, this could potentially be number five, not number four. But I got to give number five to Skybox Premium. And this is for two reasons. One, look, they actually got the license. We actually see the images the way they're supposed to be seen. And it makes it look a whole lot better. It makes it look so much better. But I also like the way that they ghost the background and make the player pop out and, and be really vibrant on the card. 
So for me, this is as good as you're going to be able to make for college uniforms. Again, if you had pro uniforms involved, then the collector's choice card does jump past it, but most of the choice cards are college uniforms. So Skybox gets the nod because the images look right and they're more distinct. But this brings me to the midway point to the honorable mention, which is Action Packed. And for Action Packed, they didn't do something special for the design. All they did was the draft number on it. But they did do the draft number, and I like it when that's done because it really kind of points out just where the player is seen in the grand scope of, you know, the draft. And so, you know, seeing somebody like Mark Brunel or Gus Ferrat, who comes from way late in the draft, being able to see that and then get a feel for how they, their careers turned out is a, a cool feature that I'm glad that Action Pact was doing in 1993 and 1994. But the big thing with this card is these are obviously shots of the players in their, in their pro uniforms, but they're so dominant, so up, to, up front. This is the kind of card that just blasts forward with excitement about the player coming out into the NFL, and that's something that I love about these cards. They look great. I do wish that the cards had more of a design element so that I could get more excited about the rookie aspect of it, and that's why I don't put it into the top five, but for me, this is... This is just a great card that I wanted to celebrate. And that brings me to the top five. So with the top five, I start off with Playoff Contenders. And this is a card that actually succeeds in a way that the Playoff card never could, where I actually am surprised when I look at this card and I go, how in the world did Playoff make a card this vibrant? It's not entirely vibrant, but it's, it's a lot stronger. And that's partially because they have such a, a, such a difference between the background and the image of the player. So he pops out a lot more, but he's also isolated with that full marble back, marble treatment of a background behind. It has an elegant look to it, it has a strong look to it, and the players are in their NFL uniforms, so they look like NFL players. But I will say, this card does look more like an insert card than it does a part of a set. So that's kind of the, the I would say probably the only drawback that the card has, which is unfortunate. Because when I move over to the fourth best design, which is Select, here now you have a full image which has the, the players actually in his environment, which is something I really like because I want to be able to see the action. The Contenders card showed the player in action, but it was not involved with action. Whereas here, you get to feel that even though it's the rookie photo shoot or camp or whatever it is, you still get to feel that the player is a part of the game and you get to see the, the richness of the image. The card design is a bit lacking and it, the contender's design was, in terms of the logo and all that, the, del tilted, the tilted thing, all of that, I'm definitely not a fan of that at all. Select it's a lot better where you have the gold foil logo, you have the gold foil text, which is very bold, but it makes a strong statement about the rookie card that allows the rookie card to have a rookie card feel that I, I really like how that comes across. I think the way that the player's name is on there and making kind of an L shape and all of that, I think that this card overall pulls off all the things that you want a rookie card to do, except for the fact that it doesn't quite celebrate the player as much as I'd like. And so that's the only drawback that the card has Whereas when I move to number three, that's exactly what Tops is. And in the case of Tops, as I look at this card, this is weird because I don't want this card to be at number three because that ripple effect in the middle of the card is, to me, it's a, a cheap idea. But it does celebrate the player. I mean, the player is so straightforward and the ripple does a good job of breaking up the background so that the player is even more clear. And it's almost like there is some sort of a celebration to the player, some aura that is surrounding him on the card. But I also like the design work that they did with that, the faded banner running down the side, which is something Skybox should have done in basketball. And then the gold foil. I like the way that all of that stuff comes together to so, so that for me, this is a card that I begrudgingly put up at number three. I, would, I like the select cards better, but the select cards don't come forward with the player as much as the Topps ones do. But I also got to acknowledge that Topps is finally starting to figure out how to make card designs 
that can compete with the competition. So there's that as well. But I do feel like this is a number three card. I, I think that they have succeeded in getting to this point, which is wonderful that they got here. And I'd like to say there's a jump up to the, the number two. I'd like to say that one and two are heads above everything else, but I can't quite do that because number two is SP. And I've always kind of had a problem with the 94 SP rookie cards. I love the 93 and I love the 95, but the 94 cards... All right, so here's the issue. In 1993, they used brushed metal on the cards and they looked amazing. They had kind of an out of focus, blotched background effect, but the way that the brushed metal came through, it just popped. It really, it had a lot of excitement to it. The 1994 design, I think the design is really good and easily the best part of the whole set, but the background is kind of lazy. It doesn't have as much vibrance and interest as we had in 1993. The images are a lot more forward, so there's not as much room behind the player to really play around with the background. But still, I need for this card to, to do more to take advantage of the opportunity. This is a far cry from Dufex, I mean, across the board. But I do have to admit that there are a lot of cards in this set that do come through beautifully, mostly defensive linemen. But the thing about these cards is how much they glow, not the interactive quality to the cards. And that's the problem I have with this card is that every time I look at it, I go, it's a really nice card, but it's not taking advantage of the, of the playfulness that these card, that this technology can have. And you got to get it just right for the card to really come through. So as much as I like it, I'm also disappointed because of what it should be as opposed to just appreciating what it is. But that's number two. Number one for me, well, that is Upper Deck. And Upper Deck, the proper set, to me, this is about as good of a rookie card as you're gonna find in football, period. Because it's a great looking card with excellent images, with a lot of richness to the colors. The design is just strong enough so that it reads well as a rookie card, it's very distinct. It doesn't try to do too much. And looking through all of the cards in the set is a really wonderful experience for me. I enjoy these cards beautifully because they don't try to do too much. They just settle in and they do the right thing, which is, well, frankly, by looking at this list, you can see that was a big ask for just about everybody else. This is a design that wins by default. There are better looking rookie cards in other sports this is not the best overall, but it is a strong one. I really do like it. And so that's where I have the, the rookie card designs for 1994 in football. If you have a uh, different take on this, if you feel the order is different, definitely let me know in the comments below. I will be doing a, an image poll for these if you want to check it out. And that'll be going up on Wednesday if you're watching this in the first 24 hours I have it up. I am also going to be doing basketball next, and then I'm going to be doing the worst of and the best of in the next couple of weeks after that. So definitely look out for those videos. If you're curious about baseball and hockey, I already did that last week, so you can check that out as well. And yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching.